Okay, so we are now on chapter three. The club slash dance floor. Which, you know, it's got to be the best place to uh, try to meet someone new where it's so loud you can't hear anyone or have a conversation. Open with an wait. Open with an opinion opener about which present to get your baby sister. Why would you ask that to someone you just met? Non-verbally open up. Wait. Non-verbally open by catching her attention. Hip bumper. Twerk attack. <laughs> I kind of want to see you do that. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my friend Alex's moves. Um, he does it when he's very, very drunk and doesn't work too well. I guess you try to catch her attention. In a noisy environment, you don't want to be too conversational, so starting by catching her attention non-verbally is the right choice. <laughs> Quickly introduce yourself and continue dancing. Ask if you want a drink. Start a dance off. Ask her whom she is there with. Hmm, would you introduce yourself or would you just go straight up to ask her if she wants a drink? These two, I'm thinking, are the right choices. Maybe introduce yourself. I'm Richard. Jenna. Nice to meet you. <laughs> That's it. You don't want to be, spend too long talking because it's a noisy dance floor. So that's exactly it. Very quick, then back to dancing. Dance closer to her. Moonwalk away. Ask what she likes to do in her spare time. Dance closer. If you're just dancing kind of near her, then, you know, she could move away. So you want to escalate a little bit, get a little bit closer. She has to go get a drink. Ask if she wants to sit down because she must be tired from dancing in heels. Try to kiss her. Well, he'd want to separate her, right, from other people. So I'd say sit down. You must be tired from those heels. And we should, it's so loud as well. Let's go and sit down over there. Yes, please. This is another reason to get off of the dance floor. And if you notice, it's not so much of a question, it's more of a suggestion. So it's very easy to say yes to, and you're more likely to get her to agree and go with you. So you really like dancing, eh? I do, yeah, very much. But you seem sober, it's strange. Why are you in the club and you still seem sober? <laughs> I can't dance as well if I drink too much. <laughs> All right, well, we started now, so. Yeah, now it's okay. okay. No, I'm not standing. And I think, I saw you, obviously, I saw you on the dance floor, but I think before, did I see you in the smoking area? Was that you? Yeah, probably. Oh. You don't like smoking. <laughs> Tell her it's a bad habit, you should quit. You can't be going around telling people what they can and can't do. Um, tell her it's, not, it's no problem, even if you don't smoke. Tell her you don't like smoking, but it's no choice. Say you're into harder drugs. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's no problem. I mean, well, I don't smoke, but 
that's all right. It's cool that you smoke. I mean, I've got lots of friends and I had ex-girlfriends that smoke, but, you know, <laughs> I, I don't do it. But, I mean, maybe I could try it. One day I might like it. it I mean, what? You don't need to try it, but um, <laughs> thank you for your yeah, approval. If, if you want yeah. to even, you're probably not allowed to here, but if you want to go for a cigarette, I'll come with you outside. So just, just say if you, if you fancy one. Okay, thank yeah. you. That's okay. Nice. Come on, dude, is that what you really think? If it is, okay, <laughs> but if it's not, don't lie. Guys that just say me too all the time or say, oh, that's okay. No, not the strongest uh, guys, not the most attractive guys. So try not to do that. I was expecting him to say, and I so don't smoke, care. Do not like, oh yeah, I'll try it too. <laughs> I think it's the only real bad one. I can be messy sometimes if that's a bad habit. I don't chew my nails or anything. Compulsive gambler or no, I don't know, thief. <laughs> What is it? Those, what's the word for the people that have to steal things? Kleptomaniac. Um, technical. Oh, I don't remember. You know, you know there I is do. one though, uh, right? Um, necro it's like a necrophiliac. Necro what? Sex with dead yeah. <laughs> Check it, necrophiliac. Yeah. No. Uh, Not that. And I was I thinking narcolepsy, that. but that's the sleeping one. But there's yeah. definitely one for stealing. Yeah, stuff. kleptomaniac. Um, Keys. So, cool. do you have any bad habits? Honest response: say you have none. So you like to inflict pain on others. Okay, so you're a sadist. Uh, be honest. Well, I don't think I have anything too bad, but it depends what you think. So I don't know, like sometimes I might smoke weed. Um, <laughs> haven't tried like super hard drugs, but a couple, couple drugs. And aside from that, I don't know, sometimes I can be really harsh with people. A little bit That's impatient. Good impatient. That's... Okay. No, I'm sure I have some bad ones, but nothing, nothing super bad. And definitely nothing like a, you know, a habit that that really annoys people. Okay, it's <laughs> good. Excellent. In this case, you want to have some honesty and, you know, sometimes the honesty can be shocking, surprising, but it has an interesting effect on her attraction levels. They're likely to go up. So tell me, do you have any good habits or like healthy stuff you do? <laughs> yeah, um, I dance a lot. Yeah. I like to go hiking. Um, I take my dog and we hike in the mountains a lot. Oh yeah. Um, it's great. Mm. And let me see. Yoga? Do you have a dream of like climbing Everest or Kilimanjaro or something no, like this? No, it's too cold. <laughs> too cold. I like to be warm. But I have some friends that climb Kilimanjaro and they're just regular people. Like they started in no. the morning and they got to the top by sunset or they had help. nightfall. Yeah, of course. They're guys carrying everything, but I don't it think seems I would like it. it's kind of easy. No, you no? would do it. Uh, I like to think I would, so, <laughs> but if you put me there, I don't know. <laughs> so you hike, what else do you do? Um, lots of sports, I like, I tried climbing recently, sometimes I play squash, used to play tennis, but I guess now I just go to the gym a few times a week and that's about it. You go to the gym? Really? <laughs> Ouch. Tell her she doesn't look like she goes to the gym either. Ask what the hell she's talking about. You have to do all the time. See that you get too much attention from girls that is there. Six pack would just be overkill. Funny thing to know. Um, because I was looking up to see if he was still making his horror game, Horror Seducer. And the dude's actually fucking Jack now. <laughs> Uh, so this would even be applicable to Richard these days. Um, ask what you can do to be more manly. <laughs> um, uh, B, I guess. Are you sure? Yeah, of course. What are you talking about? Look, I've got... I mean, I just don't have all these stupid protein shakes and stuff. I'm there all the time pumping iron. I'm actually Let's quite... See. You flex? See naked or just see touching? Oh my! <laughs> All right, now we'll touch and later we'll see. Okay, maybe you go. Of course a I little. go. A little. Hmm, you're getting defensive, aren't you? So not the best thing, not the quality that a guy wants to show, is it? <laughs> I'm trying to guess. I mean, when I look at you, I think you're kind of, I don't know, something to do with music. I don't know why I think that, <laughs> but what did you study at university? Um, I actually studied dance. Dance? I stud did. You studied I did. dance? I did, yeah. I didn't know they had that. <laughs> I know they have like ballet schools and stuff, but you it's, can study. Uh, there's music at the university too, it's an uh, art school. Um, but oh. yes, dance, uh, ballet, um, jazz, hip hop. Oh, yeah, cool. Just <laughs> A lot of things. Usher, usher. Yes, yeah? exactly, exactly like that. Like we were here. Nice mm -hmm. one. And um, 
So that was university, but what's your job now? Are you something? I a actually dancer own or a something? dance studio. Oh, that's cool. Obviously, she just strippers. Connect on it and compliment her. Ask more questions to get more information. Let's try to connect on it. Like, I'm afraid what questions he's gonna ask. You know what? I really like that because it's something entrepreneurial and it's something where you're really doing something you're passionate about, yeah. right? Yeah, so, it's wonderful. No, big respect for that. Plus, you know, it's a big risk and not to be, I don't think it's sexist. I think it's the fact that women don't normally take those risks, like to, uh, to open their own business and stuff. So it's very, very cool. Thank you. Yeah, it's been, it's been wonderful. I love doing it. And tell me, what, who do you teach? Children. Yeah, children. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love kids. Like um, ballet for little girls. Ballet and for all little girls, stuff. like five. It's so cute, yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They... five to ten. <laughs> and they actually love it as well. Yeah, we have um, we have a dance at the end of every class, uh, every mm. school period, like every six months. We have a dance mm. recital. Very cool. Thank you have you. some videos on YouTube of it. I do. You have to show me later. Okay. <laughs> This is undoubtedly a cool thing about her, so you definitely need to connect on it and compliment it because she's going to have a lot to say, a lot of emotions in there, and you want to be positive. I just noticed you got some tattoos. Oh, May I? yeah. Pretend to read it, and that it says that she likes to have sex with mortal men at once. Hmm. That's the idea behind it. So you don't really like them. but I would... Personally, I would ask the idea behind it because I'm always curious about what people's tattoos mean to them. Even though a lot of time people just get a tattoo because they like the look of it. Um, but, you know, it could be interesting to find out what the actual reason is behind them. Because sometimes they're actually uh, very meaningful and fall out. This is interesting. You've got, like, coordinates here. <laughs> yeah. what, what's that? Is some something special there. It is. Uh, I went to Iceland and ah. those are coordinates for my favorite waterfall from the trip. Oh, like and the most the, beautiful place or something. Yes, and the mountain range is Asia. It was uh, the first mountain range we drove through when we went. Mm -hmm. So very special. So the idea is that you had an amazing time and you just look at it and you... Yeah, it was the adventure of my life. So I wanted it forever. Nice, I get it. Cool. <laughs> I was like, what's that? But it makes perfect sense. <laughs> yeah, it's strange. Cool. <laughs> If someone has an interesting tattoo, there's usually a story behind it. They're going to be uh, used to telling the story, but then by handling it in the right way, you'll still make them feel good and have a good moment of connection. So I think that's probably enough about me. <laughs> <laughs> what is it that you do? Uh, it's kind of kind of strange, right? So I'm not I'm not like an accountant or whatever. So um, it's I make videos for YouTube, so okay. I could sound like a YouTube professional. <laughs> what sort of videos would you mean? Different videos like in different subjects giving advice about health and different okay. things and then uh, it kind of makes money by the advertising and you know when there's those annoying ads in YouTube? Yes. So basically that's, <laughs> that's how you make that's the money. That's what's paying me like one cent each one or whatever okay. and it adds up. Interesting. So. Well I did notice that you're very well groomed. Oh thank um, you. I Is was he? hoping you didn't mean that you're into men. Is he well groomed? Uh, it looks pretty scruffy to me, I don't know. No, I'm not. I've had lots of girlfriends. Being defensive, yeah. Say, yes, you got me. I'm super ultra gay. <laughs> As you touch her up. Mm. So you're homophobic. That's not cool. <laughs> no, I'm straight. Uh, ask her what you need to change for your appearance to be less gay looking. React angrily to show her it's not cool and you are offended. Is it right you just say, no, I'm not? And it'd be fine. But is he going to be really defensive about it? About it? Like, that's good. that one's definitely going to be angry because he says that, I react angrily. But is he going to be the, like, defensive here? I say it because he's like, he puts in, I've had lots of girlfriends. There's like, um, almost like gay panic kind of thing. But what's he going to do here if you say, uh, you've got me, and then start touching her up. Is he, like, how bad is that going to be? You shouldn't just call her homophobic just because she thinks you might be gay. And that's almost like gay panic again to ask about, oh, no, shit, I look gay? How do I change my appearance? Ah, oh, fuck. 
Um, well, we don't really know her. We can't just go groping her. I guess we'll just say no. What? I'm not. I'm not gay. I've had lots of girlfriends. Many. <laughs> Many. Yeah. Are you a player? Well, I, I'm more closer to being a player than to be a to being a gay. Definitely <laughs> have more women than men. Okay. Uh, zero, obviously, to clarify. <laughs> zero men. To clarify. Zero men, many women. Yeah, many. Yeah. I mean, more. <laughs> now, although I do get unlimited amounts of girls, it's not something that you need to brag about at every opportunity. You could just quietly get many, many girls, not tell girls that you get many, many girls, but just <laughs> yes. be confident and know, and not need to tell people, for example, by saying, I get many, many girls. Yeah. Then say it. But that was your option that you, you put know in there. You date guys or meet guys. I assume you do sometimes, yeah? But <laughs> sometimes. is it usually in clubs? Because for me, it's definitely mm. not. Um, no, I, I try not to. Um, it's not the best, right? No, it doesn't always seem like the most honest environment to meet someone. Yeah. Well, most people going to clubs, they're just looking for something that's not serious, right? That's the right. general thing. <laughs> yeah, or to have fun with their friends yeah. only. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I try not to. But you know what, the good thing we've met, right, not long ago, but we're not too drunk. We've managed to find this quiet place for a conversation. Sure. So it's maybe, uh, we shouldn't categorize it as the usual awful club thing, right? Yeah, that's safe. Mm -hmm. You want things to escalate? Brush her back and tell her she has cute little ears. Look at her mouth as she is talking. Well, you'd probably need to do that anyway, because it's the fucking club, and you'll be able to hear her, probably. Tell her she is really telling you on. You want to kiss her? Grab her ass. I mean, she's sitting on it. How would you grab it? <laughs> uh, look at her mouth, because you'd need to anyway. So I guess it's not too personal, right? But where did you meet your last uh, boyfriend? Uh, dance, the university. <laughs> we were partners, so mm. by default, I guess we got very close. Um, Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we were partners, so it was just kind of natural, I guess. Is this turning awkward? It's hard to tell. This is a great one to try. Um, you know, you did it in the game. You can try it in real life as well. It works because you're bringing in that sexual element but in a very smooth way, you know, it's not aggressive at all. It's kind of playful, but it works. So I actually didn't ask, but what did you study in school? Well, to be honest, I didn't go to university, but it's just because um, I didn't really like school when I was young. I was intelligent, but I was kind of bullied and kids called me ugly and stuff. Really? Yeah, I have no pictures from that time. I hated how I looked and everyone called me ugly. So it was, it was just unhappy, but it's okay. I'm all right now, but. You're very handsome now. I mean, thank you, but, like, why are you telling her this when you've just met her? <laughs> I mean, I was bullied. I was told I was ugly. Um, thank you, you have beautiful eyes. Yeah, like, she's giving you a compliment. Like, it was, it is kind of natural to respond to a compliment back, I feel. Um, tell me something I don't know. Oh, no, I'm not. You're really beautiful, though. It's the best girl I've seen. It's nice of you to say. You haven't seen the best part of me yet. Um, yeah, I'd go for the cover. Oh, thank back. you. And I was going to say, you have really beautiful eyes. <laughs> thank you. You must yes. hear that a lot, but it's, it's true. <laughs> yeah, maybe, but thank you. It's nice. Mm, not good because no. she actually made the first move. She's given you a compliment. That's brilliant. You want to keep that dynamic going as long as possible where you just say thank you and you stay polite and she just keeps saying nice things about you hoping huh. that she's going to get your approval back it makes oh, her I think see. about you when you're not together it makes her work harder for you show off do all kinds of things so you want to keep that dynamic and you messed up so yeah, let's have a wait drink. so his idea Cheers, by is the way. that <laughs> she starts <laughs> complimenting nice you and so you mm. don't compliment her so she seeks your approval because she's desperate for compliments. I know we haven't been is talking that what for it long, is? but to me it's, um, it's going pretty well so far. So is that what his game is? I came and talked to you. Me too. <laughs> Suggest you leave right there and then and go to your place. Ask if she has ever made love in the utility closet of her club. Chill things back down and then talk about mundane stuff again. 
Ask if she's seeing anyone. Um, would you chill things down or would you just ask if she's seeing anyone? I guess in this position, you're in a club, right? You've just met this woman and you're getting along. I guess you would ask just to find out. By the way, I probably should have asked earlier, but are you seeing anyone at the moment? Or? <laughs> yeah, we should have talked about that, I guess. Yeah, um, why? You've got, got something to tell me? <laughs> no, no, I'm not seeing anyone. That's good. I am, actually. I'm married. Really? No, I'm joking. No, I'm, oh, good. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm single as well. It's oh, cool. good. Okay, that's great. Yeah. I hope so. You didn't need to ask her that, did you? You know, much just... better to keep it unspoken and assume that if she's going with it, she likes you. If she's not, she doesn't, right? Okay, Richard, jeez. Just so you leave and go eat somewhere. Somewhere will be your place. Say you know somewhere with better music and great wine, aka okay, your house. Ask if she wants to go to your house. Just you suggest going to the after party at your house. Your friends are coming and she can invite her friends. Um, you're in a club, right? You've been drinking alcohol. Probably want food. You know what, I'm actually really hungry, so what do you say we go out of here and go eat something? I've got some wine. Maybe not come with you tonight, but um, give you my number, see you again. Okay, cool. I'll probably get going soon anyway, but give you my phone, um, put your number in there, and I don't know, meet in a few days or something, yeah? Yeah, that would be nice. Instead of saying, let's go back to my place, which usually gets a no, um, you want to make it a little bit more, you know, undercurrent, but not specific. So that's the way to do it. In Average joke. We can't have that. Okay, so we'll, we'll start again. Skip the dance part. Um, okay, okay. So non-verbal. We're going to do the funny twerking. don't like smoking. Yeah, so, like, to me, I would have said, like, oh, yeah, yeah. No, I, I don't care if you smoke, it's fine. Because, I, like, I don't smoke. I've never smoked. But I've I've had friends that smoke, and I've had parents that smoke. So, it's like, I'm kind of used to people smoking around me, so I, I don't generally give a shit if people smoke. Uh, but I don't. But I criticize that one. Like, you don't like smoking, but it's her choice. Is that the right answer for Richard? Or would he joke about saying how to, how to drugs or is he being a, like, would that be a genuine thing and like and scare her off? Um, yeah, I guess say you don't like it. Well, I don't smoke, but, you know, it's your choice. But I do hope one day you would quit. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it. I'm yeah? On it. Yeah, yeah, I am. All right. I I'll help you. Bad. I'll encourage you by reminding you constantly that it's... No, not really. I'll just encourage <laughs> you not to distract you. Well, thank you. you. That would be helpful. On one hand, you don't want to nag her. And on the other hand, you don't want to tell her it's great if you don't think it is. So this is the correct middle ground and it's the right choice. Well done. And so you smoke, but do you have any other bad habits, or is that it? Like... I think it's the only real bad one. I can be messy sometimes if that's a bad habit. I don't chew my nails or anything. Compulsive gambler or no, I don't know, not thief. Yet. Like, <laughs> what is it? Those, what's the word for the people that have to steal things? Like there's a um, technical. Oh, I don't remember. You know, you know there I is do. one though. Uh, right? It seems like a weird thing to do Necros though, right? Like when you serious... people that have sex with Well, you've just met someone. <laughs> what bad habits do you have? No. Uh, and I was I thinking narcolepsy, that. but that's the sleeping one. But there's definitely one for stealing stuff. There is. Um, so, do you have any bad habits? So you get too much attention from girls. It is. Be jo like, it would be nice to know if this is jokey. So we'll try this one. Look, I'm going to be straight with you. It's quite a problem for me at the moment with girls because uh, I just get too much attention and when I'm, you know, just slightly close to a girl, she wants to get married and all of this stuff. And I don't have a six pack. So imagine if I add a six pack as well. So I go to the gym, but I'm always there and I'm like, shall I do two more? Well, I get to, you know, so the you girls like me a lot already. So, so you do it for chill. the benefit of women. Well, so you're not too hot. 
do it for the benefit of women. I mean, they're already benefited a lot, so <laughs> it's mainly for me, but it's just that extra motivation that you get when you're single and desperate, and you're like, I need a girl, come on, one more rep, and come you on. And so you know what I do in this? Well, when I'm single, I do, but when I have a relationship, I only have one. Okay. Notice that this is said with a smirk, but it is taking her attack and not being a wussy you know, about it, not crying about it, not attacking her back, being playful and playing this kind of arrogant, cocky role. That actually works really well when it's done tongue in cheek. Just think Robert Downey Jr. Waterfall from the trip. I think of all the characters that have been in these Super yes, Seducer I mean, games, I think she's probably the coolest one. How's he gonna touch her up? Uh, I guess we'll go it's for that. I should say that because I do have, you know, certain feelings of. You can just see, like, I'm. <laughs> I'm touching you, You're but it's okay. Think joking about that? Right? Mm. Yes. Yeah. 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 So it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> Very gay. You feel it, right? That's why there's no chemistry. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. It's good. When a girl challenges you, you don't want to get angry. You don't want to get defensive, right? So this is the perfect response. Well done for choosing. Just so you leave right there and go to your. Pl oh yeah, food, right? So I would do. Wait. You're not hungry by any chance. <laughs> I mean, I could be. Yeah. What, what food do you like? Mm, I usually like pretty healthy foods, um, but I also really like hamburgers. Oh, huh, what? <laughs> How does that work? So know. you're usually healthy and then just like once in yeah. a while just... It's like the you know, guilty assumption. pleasure food, you know? Yeah, let's okay. go guilty pleasure yeah. food. Come on. I get that. I'm quite healthy as well. <laughs> Are you? All the time. Do you like burgers? No, I think my guilty food would be... Uh, pizza, pasta, ice cream, chocolate, <laughs> not all at once, but, you're but healthy. <laughs> something like that. But yeah, 99% healthy. Okay. <laughs> Surprisingly, that's the correct choice because a lot of guys go to clubs, meet girls, get off with them, and then the girls see it as a bit of fun and they don't respond to the messages. So if you actually want to see a girl again, you do want to slow things down, chill for a bit, and get that real connection that can go along with the sexual stuff that you can always bring back at any time. It shows a lot of confidence and control as well. Let's get food! Uh, yeah! Yeah, let's get food. You know what, I'm actually really hungry, so what do you say we go out of here and go eat something? Okay, yeah. yeah I cook good. a mean pasta actually, and I've got some nice wine, so <laughs> let's get right. out of here. I want pizza, dude. Well, burgers. She likes burgers, right? Come on. Instead of saying, let's go back to my place, which usually gets a no, um, you want to make it a little bit more, you know, undercurrent, but not specific. So that's the way to do it. Yeah. Trick her into going back to your place. In a noisy environment, you don't want to be too conversational. So starting by catching her attention non-verbally is the right choice. 